Here's a bit of fun. Elmore James classic 1951 recording, Dust My Broom. Let's get into it. <laughs> This lesson we're going to look at Elmore James's classic Dust My Broom. Um, this is played on an acoustic guitar. Um, it's really hard to tell, for me at least, whether he's using fingers or pick for this. I find it more comfortable with fingers, but if you find it more comfortable with a pick, that's great too. Um, the main thing is really to go for that kind of aggressive edge to the slide playing. Um, I'm playing on the bridge pickup here. I've got overdrive. I'm using uh, a brass slide. I think all these things help to just give it that little bit of an edge, which he certainly had when he played. But, you know, he was a master, absolutely wonderful player. We're in open D tuning. We're going to start up at the 12th fret. So here's our first phrase. We're going to slide into that 12th fret. And then we're going to play triplets, going one triplet, two triplet, three triplet. We want to emphasize the beat each time, so... And then we're going to go up to the 15th fret. And play the second string and then the third string. And back to the second string, so... And then we're going to slide up to the 12th fret on string 3. And play the open first string. So three parts. Now at this point, he descends down here to play some rhythm guitar. So that's why it's important that that last note is an open string because it gives you time to move. So you're going... So this little rhythm guitar part is just like the Chuck Berry kind of pattern. Um, we're just playing the open bottom strings and then going to the second fret on the fifth string. So just that pattern. Um, but what he's doing because of the, the bit before is he's coming in on the second fret part. So he's going... Catches those open top strings on the way back down. So slowly. So again. And then back up to that 12th fret. So he's just filling in this little rhythm guitar part in between the phrases, um, which is which is really great and just kind of glues everything together. The second phrase is essentially the same. There's a little bit more of a slide down. He kind of emphasizes this. That slide up and back down. And then goes into rhythm guitar. And then there's a little bit tagged on the end. But the first part is. in the middle and then there's this little bit tagged on the end so fourth string first third then open so that allows him to get back into the next rhythm guitar part so so putting all that together And then we're going to the four chord. So all of that part that we've just done was all over the D chord, over the one chord. And then we go to the four chord. So 
this is just the same idea, the Chuck Berry thing, but because of the tuning, we're just barring the fifth fret, and then we're going to seventh fret. And then he does a little bit at the end of each one. Um, so basically going on to the fourth string. string to get him back up to the 12th fret so so back into that shape so I'll play all of that from the beginning phrase after that G chord is similar to the second phrase. It's, we've got uh, but this time we've got a little variation on the rhythm of that extra bit that was tagged on so uh, we're going and this time we're just on the third and first string. Len leading into the five chord, so. So on the A chord, it's an open string. And at the end of the G chord, he just does a on the fifth string, so. into the turnaround at that point. So the turnaround is based on a descending idea on the fifth string. We're going to play the third fret, second, back to the open, and on top of that we're going triplet on the fifth string is just on the first triplet and the last triplet, like one. And then on top of that are continuous triplets, so that'll be the first one, and then the next one. doing this with a pick then you've got to do some kind of hybrid picking type thing. Um, I'm using my fingers um, so that makes it a little bit more comfortable for, for me at least. So This all starts on beat two so we get into that from beat one by going Again, we're going. A bit faster. run that all together from the five chord. So we've got turnaround but 
you know, it might take a little bit of experimenting with. If you wanted to simplify it, you could keep that open first string going and just going. And then just miss out the melody on the top, but it, but it is quite cool. Um, so that's the introduction to the song. The verse of the song is based on the main riff. <laughs> Just going through that pattern. And, and, and continuing that with, with the same turnaround. So really the intro sets the scene for the song. And then you're just doing a slightly simplified version of that without the little variations um, under the singing. on the melody of the previous verse so it's interesting because the solo comes right at the end of the song rather than in the middle um, and it's basically a vocal melody that he's then put onto the guitar um, and added all the expression that you can get with slide guitar so we're centered around the the 12th fret kind of in the area 10th 11th 12th frets um, there are some slight variations um, there are some areas where he's not you know exactly in tune with the fret um, but this is all part of the, the beauty of it and the expressiveness of it. So, you know, you want to work with the recording to really get that as close as you can. The first phrase is up at 10th fret. Just five notes. Pick the first two. Slide. Vibrato on that last note. So next phrase goes over the G chord, goes a slide down on the 12th fret. So there's a kind of, these kind of longer slides between pairs of notes. So 10th to 11th, 10th to 12th, 11th to 12th. I'm just resolving to that D and then the lower D. And then going into a rhythm guitar part. Just like the we had in the intro. Then we continue, this is like the first phrase, but instead of going from the 11th to 12th fret, he goes from the 10th to the 11th. So he's going to... This time, instead of... Instead of that 11th to 12th fret. The rhythm's slightly different. And then we repeat the second phrase. But again, with a slight variation. And this time the slide down's on the fifth string. And back into the rhythm guitar. Next phrase is up at the 12th fret, coming in on beat four. So it's going four and one and da da da. It's the first part. So 
notice you've got these slides. And then a slide down and then a slide up. to kind of sliding into and out of the notes there and kind of in opposite directions when you get towards the end um, but that really adds to the expressiveness so that phrase again then that phrase continues again similar to what we've had before but um, you know there are always slight variations then we're going to turn around which is a, a bit of a variation on what we had before um, a little bit simpler we just got this bass line going down again and this time the triplets are played over the top again but we don't we don't have quite as much um, stuff going on basically so here we go top goes Um, so if I play all of the turnaround, we've got vibrato on the end. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe. It really helps the channel. Have fun with this. This is just one of you know the classic slide guitar things that everyone should know. Um, but check out other Elmore James stuff. It's not all just Dust My Broom licks. Um, there, there is a fair amount of material that is based on this idea because it was so successful for him. But there's a ton of other stuff, especially slow blues stuff that he did, which was wonderful. Um, so, you know, do a bit of hunting around, do a bit of research and do some listening. Happy sliding. <laughs>